This week on Dropping the Needle, we discover how odorous your rungus of Guar spends Valentine's Day. Dropping the Needle. You're listening to Dropping the Needle, the podcast where all music from all genres is discussed. New releases, classic albums, rediscovered music, signed and unsigned. No ass kissing. Just two guys talking about music. Here are your hosts, Michael Brandvold from Michael Brandvold Marketing and Mitch LaFon. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Dropping the Needle. I am one of your co-hosts, Michael Brandvold, and as always, I am joined by the world-renowned and illustrious rock journalist, Mitch LaFon. How you doing, Mitch? I'm doing very well today. So, so guys, we, 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 can't, we can't give this kind of bullshit here. Obviously, people are seeing... We've got somebody really amazing joining us today. Mitch, who, who is that? What is that? that Where is it from? It, well, it's from a distant planet. It, it's an odorous urungus of guar. It's the other side. It's obvious the planet, actually. Just to get that yeah. thing. I have an address. Just a ball of burning lava. Why, why, why does it seem so appropriate that that we're talking to odorous on Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's completely inappropriate. We try to do everything we can to dissuade you humans from loving each other. We try to promote hate, intolerance, and ignorance wherever we've gone. And we seem to have a, had a pretty good effect on the human race. Some of you still insist on substituting love for sex, and I just can't understand this. <laughs> Seems that we're uh, we're caught in a windstorm today. Well, you know, we're all the way down here in Antarctica. We're trying to try to work with you guys. One of the reasons this sucks so bad is that crazy people are cheating. Don't get us Mac based software. This is a goddamn crap PC I got here. I need an Acer. Hey, so so all of you Apple peeps that are watching this, and I have some friends at Apple. Guar needs some Apple computers here so they can do this right. Yeah, can somebody know. help them? <laughs> no difference. <laughs> that was a joke about my own stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael. Mitch? Our Guar boys are coming to invade the planet in April. They've got a fabulous tour coming up. I wouldn't really say it was... I know, it's kind of short. We actually uh, were supposed to play the punk rock picnic out in LA, but uh, we were really looking forward to that because for two reasons. First, we were going to play with Danzig. Right. That's a good opportunity for us to make fun of him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then we were supposed to play with Danzig, but that didn't work out too well. Uh, 
are the true masters of this world, after war, of course. We're trying to subvert the human race so that animals can take their rightful place as your lords and masters. And then you, humans, will be forced to sleep outside and you build out of sticks pieces of garbage. Mitch, are you ready to start using the cat box? I am. I am ready for that. We need one. Well, that's like you've already used that a little bit. I've heard that Marilyn Manson will only pee into a kitty litter box. <laughs> it, 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 it saves on the on you know on your on your water bill. So hey, why not? Now I found that uh, using your partner's mouth will work. Uh, uh, well, did, did you steal that from the mentors? I stole that from a book I was reading. Yes, I can read. Thank you. Uh, I stole that from a book I was reading called Hitler and His Women. And uh, he really had loves in his life. His mother, of course. Uh, some other bitch who's an actress who shot herself. And then, of course, Ava Braun. PC. There's, there's there's a lot less wind background now. You must uh, you must have cleared up the weather. I don't know what I did. I broke a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, th we we thought the ice age moved in on you in Antarctica and froze you out. Things do move at a glacial pace around here. I can usually dodge the uh, impending ice age if it's coming. Um, but uh, Skype is a little too tricky for me to handle. It appears okay. now. Let's, 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 are you on a uh, are you on a Wi-Fi connection or a hard wire? What? <laughs> I'm on wireless. Ah, that's the problem. Wireless always screws up Skype. Is there a way to plug it into a hard wire? To an Ethernet port? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, well, Mitch, why don't we just uh, push through on this, wrap it up, while 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 the uh, the storm is subsided yeah. a little. Yes. Yeah. While the gods love us. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully, I was, yeah, was going to ask you about the uh, your recording plans and and why were why are you mad at the sun? I mean, is that the, the name of the new album coming out, or is that the one you're still working on? Well, that was uh, the uh, original working title of uh, okay. about five albums ago. Um, it didn't get in then, and it won't get in now. Um, it's just basically an ambiguous term that we use, so people will think that we're actually working on something. But, however, I have a feeling of deep resentment towards the sun. I mean, it's just up there in space. Blow it up all the time. I mean, who the fuck does the sun think they are? I mean, they're just exploding, shedding light and power and heat. They're the basis for all life on this planet. And I think that they've just got a little bit too high to themselves. The sun has got to go. Therefore, I am mad at the sun. I mean, come on. It's up there in space, just exploding all the time. I mean, I think it explodes. Bad things to do with nuclear bombs. Car bombs, belly bombs, body shots, music strippers, I don't know, I'm not in the sun. All I know is that we changed the name of the title of the working album now to, it's still got mad in it, Madness at the Core of Time. This is one of the songs off the new album. And unlike the title of Mad at the Sun, it actually has something to do with the album. So, we don't know exactly what. So, so and when will it come out? Well, the plan is for this masterpiece of masturbation to come out time within the next millennia. Though, if we stick to our plans and the schedule, it will be out in September on Metal Blade Records. Um, we are in the process of recording guitar tracks right now, but Ball's back is in there right now. And things are on fire, and that's got to be a good sign. Yeah. Michael. Mitch. I was going to say, yeah. so so you, you, you said that that was just a working title, so we thought Guar was doing something. 
So what the hell is Guar doing then? If we if you're not really recording and that you said that so we taught it, what does Guar do every day? Well, oh my God, is this fucking up again? Okay, well, no, that's when I said that. We aren't doing anything. We're just laying around smoking a lot of crack. And that's usually what Guar does all the time. We sit around the house, we smoke crack, and we get bored, we go down to the dungeon, we go down a few levels, you know, when you start getting down to the 13th, 14th level, you know, it gets pretty hairy. You know, you've got beholders, you've got manacards, you've got ball arms, you know, it, it can be a little dangerous, it can be a little dicey, even for Guam. Uh, so most of you don't go down past the 13th level. Um, in fact, we got our ass kicked so bad last time we went down there that we decided to indeed start working on the album. And that's what we've been doing all year. And in fact, we're working on the album and also getting our new pop player, Posturist Maximus, up to speed, teaching him all of the bad habits that we've learned across the years. And, um, you know, it's been a great time of homeless. Is that a word? Homeless? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. what, here, so what, what kind of bad habits do you have to teach the new guitarist? When somebody new comes into Guar, what's the initiation? Well, there's a lot of drugs. I mean, he's just really... People in outer space do not smoke crack. I mean, that's one of the things about this planet that makes it so beloved. Wow. This is the only planet in the universe that has crack cocaine. And um, that's the reason we've stayed here all these years, of course. And I thought Chris had never smoked a shit before, and quite frankly, it blew the back of his head like the fuck off. So, um, you know, we've got to teach him about, about the blue fields, and um, sound check is another important. Interviewers, you know, you guys have got the right idea. Leave me on Skype because if we were doing this in person, I probably would have eaten your heads by now. I feel good <laughs> about that. <laughs> That's why we keep you at a distance. We, we want to keep our heads. So, uh, uh, what's the musical inspiration for Skype? What did you grow up listening to? Justin Bieber? No, uh, you know, a cat ships on fire, uh, suns on supernova, um, you know, millions dying. Uh, continents drowning, um, time lurching to its inevitable conclusion. Um, we didn't really have music so much in outer space, just the sound of um, exploding helicopters, pretty much. So, just, um, I, I, w I would have thought Gene Simmons would have been a big influence for you. Oh, uh, <laughs> exactly the opposite. I am serious. <laughs> After, uh, after the April tour and the spring tour, where are you going? What's the plan? To, what are the plans past April and May? More touring after that, or are you actually going to work on the album? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we're about to lose him again. The sun is exploding. I will send you a message. You hear me? Yes. Sort of. Your son is exploding. Oh. I don't know what's going on. He's jacked into the web. I know. Uh, oh, well, I can still hear you at least. Uh, we'll go back to that article. Um, we wait for the new album to drop. Now, I can't believe I just said that. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something Fred Durst would say. Oh, well, I did learn everything I know about your language from humans, after all. Um, and it will come out in September, and then we hit the road again. With a brand spanking new show, and, uh, and everyone will understand that our new album is going to be the greatest squad album in history, and we will tour unrelentingly probably throughout the whole next entire year, or something like that. And will there be a lot of bloodshed on the new tour? Well, of course, that's one of the biggest things about a bar show is bloodshed, and the cameras upside the freaking face, and the battle axes through the skull, and you know, the celebrities being murdered and the pleasure drones being serviced and the, the warrior methane gas breathing freaks having their inner drink all over the stage. I mean, that and the music, of course, that's why you go see water, isn't it? Well, I, I, I'm hoping, will you sacrifice at least one or two virgins? Well, they're very difficult to find in the Gua Show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a show. 
I have yet to find one who does not even bed yet in time. Might have to go to a fever show and sacrifice a few of his fans, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps he even sacrificed the diva himself. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Uh, Odorous, is there, is there anything else we need to cover today? Well, let's do it. <laughs> what, what, what are your special Valentine's Day plans for the Mrs. Odorous? Oh, well, um, I, I hope to spend Valentine's Day being barnyard fuck by the host of a little menagerie of a spirit circus animal. That, let me tell you, that beats what I've got planned. Yeah, I mean, just think of the image, the imagery there. It's a beautiful thing. Meet me in a barnyard, with my ass in the air, and I don't know, a zebra, or maybe a gibbon. Trying to have a corpse. And oddly, yeah. I, I was just taking my wife to a Bon Jovi concert tonight, so I guess, uh, I guess he got it right. He's got you know, it does seem like a raping at a Bon Jovi concert, you gotta think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm joking. Right. Being raped by an animal. So, so Odor, <laughs> where, where, can, where can people go find you guys on the internet? What's your website? Ah, shut up, technology is talking to me. Oh, um, you can see us on the interweb, also known as the CompuNet, at uh, www.guar.net. Yes, we actually still have a website. But uh, there is a Guar Facebook page as well. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitter at The Video Odorous. And, of course, my Twitter account is so awesome, it says over 25,000, maybe even in bed. Yes, my personal army of cyber Boham stand waiting at my every British quality tweet. Let, let, let me ask you, if you're the real Odorous on Twitter, is there a fake Odorous? Yes, all the other Odorous is a fake but you'll notice if you go to W.O. Odorous, I've got a little chip box. That means I'm real. Ah. <laughs> Twitter is nice to know that Odorous is verified. Wow, that, Twitter, that's Twitter has verified, verified right Odorous. Very good, because a lot of people don't really believe that we have another space. No, I have proof. And, and do you tweet uh, sort of like Oprah-esque sort of uh, self-help messages for the kids? Not at all. Unless um, helping means hurting. Um, mostly, uh, the biggest one line is there's not much you can get into any characters. So I try to keep it short and sweet and punctually correct and um, spelling, good spelling. I think in this cyber age, your rotten brat children have forgotten how to spell. Uh, but between uh, whatever. Inner city kids are doing and text messaging each other and butchering the English language. It might be up to God to teach you people your own tongue. It's good to uh, know that it's good to know that odorous appreciates good grammar. Yes, uh, you know, was raised in a very strict disciplinary and stone dogging war college. Um, we were taught all the languages. Uh, including, uh, you know, cuneiform. And it, it, that's the reason it's taking me so damn long to write a new album, because first of all, I can't spell a word of shit. And second of all, I do my writing into a clay tablet with a little stick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, that's the way to do it. So, Michael. Mitch, I think this was awesome. Let's wrap this yeah. up. Odorous is starting to lick the interwebs. The CompuNet. The CompuNet interwebs are getting licked by Odorous. And so, uh, yeah, so we wanted just to say thank you for joining us today. This was uh, this was um, certainly a, a special event. It was. I thank you, Mitch. I thank you, Michael, uh, for your marvelous support and obedience to God's will. Continue to promote us, continue to hype us, continue to talk shit about us. I don't care, just, just keep on coming, keep on pumping, and we'll be there to break your animals before you know it. <laughs> well, thank you. you. Know, I don't know what more we can say with that one, Mitch. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye.
Take care. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye bye now. Mitch, I don't know what the hell to say about that. That was oh. like I had no literally when you said he's Odorous is joining us in character. Right. I had no idea what the hell to expect. And that was beyond what I expected. I mean that that, that Odorous was spewing stuff left and right. It's like I don't know where this was coming from out of him. It, it, it certainly was entertaining, and, and that the uh, the uh, wind tunnel sound effects that went with it certainly added to the mystique and the uh, well, the awkwardness. The, the, it, it was not a typical interview, but then again, Guar is not a typical band. They are not a band. They are a, a marauding band of tribal. intergalactic uh, yeah. tribal. Exact, exactly. Doom, so doomsayers. You know, we will never talk to somebody like Odorous again. No, Odorous is Odorous. Gene Simmons just wears makeup and plays a character. Odorous doesn't play a character. Odorous is Odorous. He is the. He is that man. Yes, yes. and he's verified on Twitter, which. You know, yeah, you want your on. monsters. Yeah, Twi Twitter has accepted the fact that there's an alien living amongst us, and he's got a verified Twitter account. Right. I mean, next thing you know, there'll be a verified Iron Man and a verified Hulk. It's a, I mean, I, it's a I whole just, crazy listen, world. We we learned like how does Odorous spend Valentine's Day? Right, with barn animals. Exactly. We learned what Guar does every day. Lots of drugs. Which is smoke crack. And why they live like here on twins. our planet, because we're the only planet with crack. Right, right. And uh, they're not, well, they're mad at the sun. They want the but, sun to blow up. Right, which which is a good plan to live in total darkness for the rest <laughs> of our days. And, and as he ended, he really appreciates good grammar. Yes. Because when you're writing a Guar album, commas and prepositions and semicolons <laughs> and all that have got, well, not that prepositions are grammar, but it's all got to be in the oh, right place. Oh, my God. That was just, uh, you know, okay, the quality of the interview because of being in, in, at, in Antarctica and dealing with a windstorm was, was very different. But that has to be probably the top interview we've done so far. Certainly the most entertaining, and it's certainly entertaining to see that a Microsoft product like Skype is having a lot of trouble on a Microsoft platform computer, but hey. Hey, hey, Apple, if you want to endorse Odorous, um, I'm sure us, he's looking for it. We'll take an endorsement, too. <laughs> wow. So listen, hey, uh, folks out there, if, you, if, if you're still listening at this point, uh, go check out their, their tour. It's coming up in April and uh, in September. Their new album drops, as as he mentioned. Just, just, re just realize they they aren't going to be sacrificing any virgins at the shows, just because they right. don't have many virgins at their shows. Right. So they're just going to be sacrificing moms. <laughs> I, Mitch, I don't know how how do we talk serious about this or do we play into odorous? I don't know how this gets worked out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to play into it. You got to play on, into it. This was that was that was. That was awesome. I'm talking to Odorous Urungus and and asking him how he spends Valentine's Day. And uh, yeah, dude, you that know was... that that's one thing that maybe at some point we should cover is how much do how much does the media play into the spectacle? I mean, you know, when when whoever it is, whether it's Madonna or Kiss and whatever we do or whatever they're doing, the media plays into the spectacle. You can either play into it or you can go against it, but yeah, you know. can have fun with it, or we could, you know, do we do we reveal who Odorous really is, or do we have fun? And I say right. you have fun. I say you have to play into it. Otherwise, what do you do? You berate him, and you go, oh, come on, silly man. Your real name is blah, 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 and take off the... No, of course not. You got to play into it. It's fun. It's fun. Right. Media is as much part of the entertainment process as the actual bands and the yep. music. Yep. So ho hopefully you guys... We're able to get through the interview. Um, you know, have fun with it. Don't don't get all serious with this. It was a good time. I I had a fun time with it. So did I. I mean, I, you know, I just sort of wish the audio had been clearer. But hey, come on. But it's then, part of the you know, mystique. That, that, yeah, that's not that's not guar. That's not odorous. Right. 
He's not supposed to be mic'd up perfectly. Down in the dungeons. They don't have great Wi-Fi in dungeons. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so let's call it a day on that. All right, guys, uh, leave us us some comments on YouTube. Head over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash dropping the needle, website droppingtheneedle.com. Um, let us know what you think. We, we want to hear what, you know, what you thought about this interview, past interviews, what music you're listening to. Um, I think it's time that we, we do an episode where we get back and start talking about some of the music we've been listening to and new releases yeah. and upcoming releases we're looking forward to. Cause there's, I've already found some great music this year and there's some stuff to look forward to. Right, and and that first quarter, as they call it, uh, you know, coming into March and stuff, is all your spring releases. So, you know, your greatest hits, your box sets, your new albums. It's all it's all coming now. Yep. You know, we've we've had the after Christmas lull, and now we're in the ramping it up for the summer tour sessions. Yep. So. Yep. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. And, Thanks for putting uh, up with us. Putting up with us, and uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Guar didn't insult you too much. Yeah, and 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 next week uh, I'll bring you Derek Sherinian, I think, or is it, a, or in a couple of weeks we'll. Yeah, we've got you. we've got an interview with Derek that that we'll we'll bring to the table for everybody to enjoy. And um, Susie Quattro Susie and Alan Quattro's Niven, coming up, and the Alan Guns and Roses yep. episode. Yep. yep. No yep. holes barred on that one. Lots of cool stuff coming up here. So very cool. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. And as always, I am one of your co-hosts, Michael Branvold, and I'm joined by Mitch LaFon. Hello, this is Bumblefoot from Guns N' Roses, and I just released my own award-winning gourmet hot sauces. From the mild cherry bourbon bumblelicious to the over-the-top bumblefucked. So if you want to get bumblefucked, visit bumblefoot.com for more information. You've been listening to Dropping the Needle. Dropping the Needle. With Michael Branvold and Mitch LaFon.